The fallen traveler's grave is marked by a glyph, an epitaph of some ancient technology. Extract glyph. I obtained the glyph, I did, uh, and with it the ability to travel to unknown worlds. I leave the fallen traveler in peace. Nice, okay. So that's the the sun sunrise glyph. Neat! Welcome back, everybody, to No Man's Sky. I'm an old guy gaming, and look what we found. We were looking, uh, you know, looking around, uh, finishing up the quest, which, by the way, we did finish up Kill the Innocent Animals quest. And um, so we have the turn in for that. So I was just kind of wandering around, sort of kind of slowly making my way back to the ship, checking out the landscape, and a grave popped up. So normally, from what I understand about these, is you have to talk to a traveler on a space station and then the traveler gives you the coordinates of their grave. I don't know if they're dead or what the deal is with that. I don't know what the lore behind that is. Um, but I don't know what happens when you just stumble across one, which I just happened to do. So let's, uh, let's find out what happens here. Hope you guys enjoy the video. If you do, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. And, uh, yeah, let's get started. Okay, here we go. <laughs> La, what, 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 what? It won't stay up long enough for me to read what it says. Okay, here, let's just do it. Oh, there he is. I asked a zit question that no one had asked. It was a simple zit. The sentinels, zit, are what the sin zit do they come from? Maybe it's my life's work to find. Zip, left logs, records across worlds. The fallen traveler's grave is marked by a glyph, an epitaph of some ancient technology. Extract glyph. I obtained the glyph, I did, uh, and with it the ability to travel to unknown worlds. I leave the fallen traveler in peace. Nice, okay. So that's the, the sun sunrise glyph. Neat, okay. Um, yeah, I, that's really weird, man. I don't, I don't know what that's all about. Like, are these, are they dead? I guess they are if they have a grave. Um, that's really bizarre. Whoa, 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 whoa. Virtual reality's wigging out. Okay, so, where is the turn-in icon? It is... Down there. Return to the mission agent. Okay, that's probably where the station is. Let's do it. Alright, here we go. Now, this is going to take me a while, so I probably won't show all of this on camera. Because even though we could stack the missions and do all of the missions uh, in one fell swoop, we can't turn them all in in one fell swoop. We have to turn them in individually. So, Let's get started with that. Then we have to wait for it, tell us, for it to tell us how many nanites we get and are standing, and then we do the next one. Uh, and I think they fixed this too. It used to be longer, but it's still sort of kind of a long process. Welcome back, everybody, to No Man's Sky. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, I'm going to show you where are new home locations going to be? I did a little bit of scouting around off camera. Is that thing still available? Doesn't look like it. And uh, found found a spot that I think I'm going to go ahead and build a base at. So we are back at the original um, uh, uh, minor settlement. That's class C. And I also found another, <clears throat> what looks like another minor, minor settlement not very far away from where we're going to build. So let's go ahead and hop in our ship. And I'll I'll show you a couple other places that I consider too. We'll just fly by real quick. So this is where we started off, of course, uh, when we got to this planet. And uh, I walked up through here. We came up this way, and uh, kind of back over around here. Uh, that's the water that we spent some time in, 
and then we kind of went around and came back up through this valley where we found that secure site that's I, that I still have marked. So I was flying around and considering a couple of places, I, I like these buttes. I like these big tall buttes because they have a fantastic view from the top. So um, I looked at this one and it's not wouldn't be a bad place. It's fairly flat, uh, lots of room to build, but there's not a lot of land area up here. And so um, I decided to, to try something else and, and I'll show you what I finally decided upon. Uh, we also flew over to to this butte and this one's pretty much the same as the other one fairly flat but uh, not not a lot of land surface and you know I want more land area so we have room to expand and so that we this has this big ugly crater in it too by the way uh, so we can expand uh, have a farm raise some animals and have plenty of resources just right outside the door without having to fly somewhere else if we need to go harvest stuff so I considered those two places and you know they're not bad candidates they're okay but over uh, around this other side here this butte here is the one I think I'm gonna go on because it's bigger there's a lot more room uh, so lots of resources and I have I also have um, some cattle up there I have actual herd of, of cow like animals that we could actually tame and have our own herd uh, so this is I, I decided to go with this one just because here again it is uh, there's a lot more room on it and so I believe what we'll do is I think our building sites gonna be probably in the middle I kinda like this end it's kinda quaint you know we could we could build a base like right out on the end here but if we did that then we wouldn't have a lot of room you know to expand now I could still maybe maybe build a look out there just for funsies but I think that what we're gonna do is we're gonna build the base probably almost right about in the middle of the butte right about in this spot here because we got lots of room to expand um, and we're right in the middle so if we need to go down on to this end you know to get resources we can or you know likewise down onto this end so probably somewhere just right in the middle is where we'll we'll build the base and we're definitely going to have a nice really cool lookout uh, looking out over the side. Now as I was up here I discovered this new location so let's go check this out first. It looks like a minor settlement but it actually said something about a weapons terminal when I uh, when I glassed it from up above. So let's just check this out and see what's going on here. But it's nice to have another uh, you know landing and hopefully trading location uh, this close by. Area discovered. Yeah, so this is this is just a this part of it anyway. It's just another minor settlement. Okay, let's see what we got in here. This is a class C. Okay, it's a cool looking weapon, but it's only a class C. So we got the terminal here, and uh, we've got the the guy here. Let's see what he sells. Whoops! Hit the wrong button. Per no, not burp blueprints components okay so we can get salt refractors wiring looms from him processors if necessary sodium diodes and cobalt mirrors that's very that's actually really good he's got you know the cobalt mirror the sodium diode and the salt refractors seem to be uh, some of the most common things that you need to buy and he's got all three of those so that's actually really good we don't really need care about drop pod coordinates anymore because we've got our bags maxed out so good to know, good to know. Okay, so let's uh, X out of there. Uh, we got some nanites on the table here, looks like. And yeah, that's cool. Okay, let's let's talk to this guy. See what he has to say. I've interrupted an electronic life form in the middle of their work. Inquiring mask lights flash up towards me and scan me from head to foot. On their data pad, their silicone fingers flick through images of this planet's plants and creatures. My own image is added to his catalog. Unknown life form, Datralata, the Corvax Convergent Studies with Life Form Data Life Form, la 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 la. See, I'm, I'm starting to learn quite a few Corvax words, which is really cool. Their interest seems to fade and their facial lights dim. They begin to study a hologram of a lush overgrown tree. I need a way to impress. Share creature scan data, give middle. Yeah, this is probably what he's going to want. The life form chitters happily and rewards me. 
Right on. I like rewards. What did we get? A mining beam module. Super nice. Thanks, dude. A, a, a class B mining beam module. I will take that. Check stock transfer. And 1,715 credits. That's 1,715 credits more than we had before. What does this thing have for sale? Alright, so nothing... Nothing too great. And they don't even have any wiring looms at all, but the other guy does, so... Hmm. Okay. Well, if we needed a quick fill up on oxygen or sodium, we could certainly come here and buy it. Or ferrite does, for that matter. Excellent. Okay. Glad... Whoops, sorry. Excuse me. Pardon me. I'm glad we found this location. There we go. Got some sodium out of that. All right, now we've got a couple of uh, uh, we've got a couple of buildings over here that we can probably get some nanites and stuff from. Let's grab those real quick, and we'll also mark this place too. So yeah, that'll basically be our home way up on that that butte. Man, that thing is high, <laughs> very high. Okay, let's search that. Oxygen capsule, save and chart, and we'll grab all these guys here. Projectile ammunition, that's always good. Always a good thing. Got a broken uh, machinery here, damaged machinery. What do you want to repair? And 10 nanites, okay. Well, that's better to kick, better to kick in the nuts, I guess. Of course, most things are. <laughs> uh, we don't need to restore our shield, but let's get a new word. You've learned the Corvax word for I. Nice. Nothing there. Here's some nanites. 57 nanites. Very nice. Very nice. <laughs> okay. That's not one of those research thingies, is it? No. Okay. And then we also have this thing. It looks like it just has a flag on it. Can we get up there? Oh, yes, we did. Look at us. <laughs> Hmm. You'd think there'd be a ladder there, but uh, apparently not. Cool. All right. So let's go um, head on up to the Butte and get started with our new home, our new base. I'm look. I'm excited about this. I really. This planet has really grown on me in the time that I've spent here. I wasn't super impressed with it at first, but uh, I really like it now after spending some time, you know, just walking around and exploring a little bit. It's a, it's a neat place. And the only the only weather issues are it does occasionally have the, you know, superheated storm, but that's no not a big deal. So let's head on up here. Okay, so I think what we want to do is we're going to want to build probably right about here in this area where my uh, where my site is. So let's land. Uh, land. There we go. Uh, actually, that was my fault. I hit the wrong button. Oh, for goodness sakes. Whoops. Alright. Oh, you didn't like that, did you? Well, the son of a bitch attacked me, so just relax. So this is a really nice flat area, right? Pretty much all in through here. I want to I want to avoid terrain manipulation as much as possible because I've had a lot of trouble with terrain manipulation in this game on, you know, playing multiplayer. Now it may not be it may not be as bad in single player, but I just don't want to risk it because the problems that I have had with it playing multiplayer have essentially caused me to have to start my base over 3 times. 
uh, really frustrating and so I don't want to have to deal with that with that here but I'm thinking we'll probably go ahead and build in right in this middle area here right through here and then you know we could put we could choose one side or the other uh, so either this side here um, or the other side just depending upon which one we feel has you know the, the nicer view let's go look over here to make kind of like our living quarters with a really nice view out over the side but then our more um, functional areas and stuff like that will will be more towards the middle of the butte I don't know I mean it's really pretty pretty on both sides it's almost six one half a dozen the other really I mean if we look out over here we've got the that really cool mountain peak off in the distance and some water to the left and the right so I don't know I would be I think I would be happy really with, with either side. Let's go look at this one again. That's got more water, kind of like a big inlet over there. A couple more mountains and stuff to look at on this side. So I think this side, I think this side's just, just a smidge better. I mean, the other side's not bad. It certainly is not bad, but I think this side floats my boat just a little bit more just a little bit more all right cool so I think we're gonna start this base off I don't really have a specific build in mind I've got a very general idea I want to have you know more multi like kind of like a multi-building compound uh, so one building or multiple buildings would be dedicated to farms one would be a living area maybe we'd have one that's like a crafting area kind of an idea uh, I, I do want to get some critters and raise them so we could make like a little uh, pasture area type setup for them somewhere around in here and speaking of which let's go take a look at the critters uh, they were a species that I had not yet uh, uh, scanned. In fact, let's. I might even have that done by now. Let's look at that really quick. So if we go to discoveries, and uh, we are on. What are we on? Green beauty. So we still. Oh wow, we still have five more animals on this planet that we have not yet discovered. That's amazing. Okay, good. Fifteen animals is a nice little collection of species. At least as No Man's Sky goes. It's interesting to think about that, though, because of, you know, the, uh, got a, a cave down there. That is way down there, too, to make sure not falling there. <laughs> um, you know, the Earth has, I don't even know how many species of animals are on the Earth. Hundreds of thousands on just one, you know, one planet. So just by way of comparison, you know, to the real world compared to this place, that's pretty interesting to think about. But, you know, hundreds of thousands of different species of animals on one planet in no man's sky would not be practical, of course. So 15 is more more manageable. All right, where's my cows? There was a herd of cow thingies over in this area when I was up here earlier. I wonder if they despawned. I don't think they despawned. This is a really cool little... Oh, there they are. This is a really cool little glade over here. That's why I kind of liked the idea of maybe building over here, but there's just not as much room for expansion as all. Plus, I kind of like to keep these trees here, you know, keep this glade intact just because it's so cool looking. And, you know, any tree harvesting that we may need to do, we'll probably do on the other end of the butte because it's not quite as neat over there. But anyway, yeah, here's the cattle. The cattle looking creatures. So I figure what we could do is tame these guys when we're ready to do so, and we'll have our own herd. And most likely they do provide milk. I would have think they would anyway. Look at you. Look at you. <laughs> I'm guessing probably the ones with the with the little uh, spiked uh, 
what do you call those? Spines. Spines on their back. Might be the males. And these are the females. Or it could be the other way around. I'm not really sure. Feed with creature pellets. So we'll have to make creature pellets. I haven't done that yet. I think I have the general idea, but we'll figure it out. Alright, so yep, this is uh This is our new home, guys. This is our new oh shit. It just fell down in the hole. <laughs> Fortunately it wasn't that other hole. Of course we could still always get out with the train manipulator, but still. Um so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna get started with building. And so I guess the next question that I need to answer is do I want to uh, because I do want to have multiple structures it probably would make the most sense to build the what's ultimately going to be you know the the crafting manufacturing structure first because we're going to need that to make everything else anyway and we're going to probably plop that right down in the center of this little pasture here to get started. The thing though that I do want to do is I want to make sure, like I said, that we don't really have to do a whole lot in the way of terrain manipulation. So, well, what I might end up doing is I might end up building upward to get up above the terrain, especially when we get, you know, to the to the sides there. But we could start though with you know, making sure we're kind of on a, a bit of a high-ish spot even out in the middle here. So like maybe start lay our first foundation, you know, right here or so. So I guess the first step to doing this is, of course, to get our uh, base computer down. So where do we want to put that thing? I don't want it to be right in the build area, but I, I don't want it to be super far away either, because we do have to get to it. Uh, maybe we could put it next to the language stone, to the knowledge stone. We could plop it down right here. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so gonna go to the build menu we're gonna go to portable uh, base computer and we've got the match for that and let's turn this way and there we go okay very nice we do have the nasty weather coming in here. But let's do this. Searching cartographic archives. Universal archives search reveals no prior claims on the site. Sonar test confirms site is suitable for construction. I wonder if that ever says anything different. Um, particularly for the sonar test. Claim base. There we go. There we go. Okay, we need to get out of this storm here. And uh, let me look at something here real quick. Okay, so. Um, got the base computer down. Whoa. Come on, VR. Quit messing up on me. Let's look in here again and see if we have anything new. Toxiter's Outpost. That we're definitely going to rename, but I'll have to do that. I'll have to do that when we get... Yeah. I have still have not figured out how to use the keyboard in VR, you know, to, to name stuff. So I'll probably have to log in in normal mode to rename that, but we can do that later. Uh, all right, so let's leave for now. And I guess the next thing to do is to set down some stuff. You know what I might want to do, though? I might go up to the anomaly. Well, let's do that. Let's go up to the anomaly, because I want to I want to work with some of the prefabs rather than you know build build the base out of the out of the blocks so we, we might do some of that too but I want to start using the prefab so uh, I have a fairly decent collection of salvage modules uh, on the freighter so let's go get that get the freighter here too I think the freighter is actually in this system 
Let's see if we can call it just right up above our base site. When you do that too, it's really cool because you can actually see it from the planet. There we go. So let's go grab our salvage modules, and we're going to go uh, pull, call the anomaly in. And I'm basically going to go buy all those prefabs, or at least as ma many as I can with the salvage modules that we have. Uh, I think I have, yeah, I've got those in the storage, so I, got, I have, to, have to physically go up there to get them. I can't just pull them like I could if it was the actual freighter inventory. You know what, I don't know if I've shown you guys what I've done up here either, come to think of it. Um, basically, I did what I said I was going to do uh, in the last episode that we were up here. So, I have storage rooms all along this wall here, um, and it goes too deep, basically. And over in these ones, kind of um, on this far end, I put all the extra... Uh, Data, data navigation, or navigation data modules in here. And, uh, wow, my exosuit inventory is really full. Uh, in here, because, you know, I had such a, a collection of those when we did our billion dollar run. And so we got a bunch of those, but I also have, in one of these, I've got some, um, I've got some uh, salvage modules, too. Okay, so we got 18 salvage modules. So, and that's a frigate module that we have to hang on to. Okay. Well, okay, I guess the first thing we have to do is we need to make a little more space. I'm, like, really full here. Do that. Okay, guys, so we are back. I uh, did some inventory management and uh, cleared up a bunch of space in my... Bag. Uh, we got a lot of stuff in the cargo slots, um, but uh, you know we're going to need a lot of this as we start building the base here in just a little bit. So I'm just going to kind of leave it the way it is right now. I'm not going to do anything. I did have some. Uh, I did do a little bit more sodium into uh, uh, sodium nitrate just to kind of clean that up a little bit. But uh, before we go to the space station in, I mean, to the anomaly and get the prefabs. Uh, I had, I have a bunch of stuff that I actually bought off camera. I completely forgot about that. And uh, so I want to install uh, this stuff now. So let's get that out of the way and that'll clear up some more inventory as well. So this is a, an S-class life support module. So we want to install that right there. And uh, that should, uh, that should really help us with uh, power in life support tanks so yeah uh, oh okay I guess that gives us more solar panel power too that's interesting that'll come in handy for sure uh, all right now we've got uh, the mining uh, uh, laser thingy doodle so whoops come on get off there let's install this uh, and we want to put this advanced photon mirror Wait a minute, though. That's for... Uh, is it that for... Yeah, that's for mining. I thought for a minute there that was the, the weapon thing. Okay. So, overheat downtime and heat dispersion. Very nice. And then we have another mining... Wait, here, let's just go down the line. So, this is a thermal protection module. So, that we're going to have to put into our... Uh, technology slot and I guess we could put it right here gonna place item in technology slot what oh I guess it has to be installed first so keep hitting the wrong button here okay so a to install there we go now go here and here thermal barrier So we have two, class B and class S. Okay, so we have two, right. Uh, and that needs that stuff to charge. So we might need to make some iron batteries to get that charge back up. 
What is this? Does this tell us what it needs to charge? Yeah, fo same thing. Okay, we need to come across some phosphorus. We'll have to go to a hot planet to get that. Uh, all right, so now this is a pulse engine S class pulse engine module for our ship, and we want to put that uh, over by the pulse engine, which we're going to have to move a few things around. So let's just install it here, and maybe what we'll do is we'll put this. Let's move this over here. We'll move this here so it's next to the pulse engine, and then we'll put this back there for now. So those are all together, too. I wonder, do the, are these related since they're both using the blue frame? Uh, I wouldn't think so, but you know what? Let's, let's do a little test here. Let's put this down here for a minute, and let's put the launch system next to it. No, okay, so it's just, I guess it's just, they both use blue, but they're not related to each other. Okay, that would have been my guess, but uh, I wanted to check that out. Okay, so back to the exosuit here. Now what do we got? We've got a phase beam module. So this is going to go on our multi-tool next to our phase beam. Uh, so let's move the cannon here. Let's switch spots with these guys. So the phase beam's next to the module and put this back over here. I gotta get that uh, I gotta get that going too. Uh, or upgraded. So I might even have one for that. Let's see. This is an, this is the S plus mining module. Or I mean so not the S plus, the uh, S class. S plus is from ARC. And let's put that here. And what I probably should do now is I should rearrange this a little bit. So let's move these guys down here. And I'm going to put the mining beam right in the center. And well, it might be better to do this try and keep them as square as possible. All right. Yeah, that's a combat item. It's not uh doesn't seem to be in fact none of these things seem to be framed like they're not given a bonus. Why would that be? Here, let's let's mess with that for a second. Okay, so those two, I guess these aren't related. I thought they were, but apparently they are not. But these two aren't helping each other out. Survey device analysis visor. What about this? Nope, that doesn't work either. Okay. So even though they're visor items, apparently they don't give each other bonuses. But these two are giving each other bonuses. That's really weird. Okay. Uh, all right, well, I guess that's all we can do for that. And then what do we have left? We've got this movement module which I think we need to put in the near our jump jump jet. So we are out of space now in the technology area. So let's move this uh, just into general here. And let's see, we gotta make a spot for the movement. So if we just slide Let's move this here. We'll move that over there. That there. That there. And then we should be able to install that right into there. Good. So all of those are giving each other bonuses. And this is going to help us with our jump jet significantly. 40% sprint. A distance 20 202 percent more on the jetpack tanks oh that's awesome that's really awesome and more fuel efficiency and everything okay cool uh, all right so that's it that takes care of our um, technology stuff for now and we got some inventory space now I've got a total of 19 uh, salvage modules so what we're gonna do is we're gonna run over to the anomaly and we're gonna see how many uh, prefab uh, pieces that we can buy with that. So let's do that right now and then we'll go ahead and wrap up this episode.
Okay, here we are. Um, so we have 29 salvage data, and let's just start buying up as many of these as we can. And then we're probably going to have to go farm up even more salvage data. So let's see, that goes uh, into the square room. Looks like we might need to go farm up a bunch of pure ferrite too, because I don't have a ton of that. I've got some, but not a ton. Straight corridor. Uh, let's see, this is going to get down into foundation stuff. This is going to be windows and tubes. Come on, dude, get the hell out of the way. Uh, doors, let's do some doors. Uh, what's that? Access ramp? Yeah, let's do an access ramp. Let's do... What is that? A shutter door? Okay, yeah, that's kind of cool. Let's do that. I don't know how many... Mo yes, we're already down to seven. I don't know how many of these we're going to need to actually do everything here. Um, but I want to do this dome. So let's go with the glass corridor. And we have two left. We can buy this ladder here. Okay. All right, so um, that's it. We Oh, we can do a window for one module. Good. So it looks like I've got um, a bunch of... Okay. Uh, looks like i got a bunch of salvage module farming in my, in my near future. <laughs> so... What I'm probably going to do, you guys, is I'm probably going to go ahead and do that now, off camera, of course. Just because when we get started building, I want to have everything available to me that I'm going to need. So, we are going to need quite a few modules, though. I mean, we need 10, just from what we can see here, you know, we need 10, 15, 18, 21, 22 and whatever all these are going to cost. So I'm guessing that I'm probably going to need 75-ish? And that's a pure guess, because I really don't know how much these are going to cost. Oh, they do tell us how much they cost. Wait. No, they don't. Yeah, they do. Okay, let's... Here, I'll, I'll, what I'll do is I'll figure out the math on this so I know how many I need. And then I'm just going to go farm all those up um, and come back and get all the rest of these so that, like I said, we have everything that we need uh, in order to do our build. But anyways, uh, that's it for this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Consider sharing out the video on your social media and leaving a comment. All those things do help the channel, and I appreciate it. Guys, have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.